the commercial break, Michael told me we're already four minutes over, so I thought, well, I better be quick. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a great actor and friend. He's in the, the Art of the Steel, which is on video on demand uh, now and in theatres March the 14th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Hanging in there. Yeah, you look oh, yeah. good. You look nice. You look you look like you're kind of like California casual well, kind of doing. golf. I've been playing up in the, the AT&T in Pebble Beach. That was a lot of fun. You play golf? I didn't know you played golf. I just started. Not very well, but by, you know, we, a lot of rain, a lot of, lot of wind. It was kind did, of... you get, did you get sick? Yeah, I did. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what, what As a matter of fact, I didn't... What, you, what have you... Uh, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> Great scene. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, you just uh, slap some of that one. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what I need, yeah. Yeah, there you are. Just hey, man, how you doing? Ah. <laughs> Did you get the flu? I, I think so. Yeah? <laughs> you, you haven't been to a doctor? You've got to go to a doctor, man. I'm just in the catching it stages. I'm, you know, oh, you're in the catching it stages. You're just catching it, giving right it away. Yeah. Like, no, I've already been to <laughs> Also, I got a flu I know, shot. Did you get a flu shot? No, but I should, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to get yeah. a flu shot, I think. What do you, you don't believe in modern medicine? You believe in. I'm just afraid of needles, like everybody you're else. You're afraid so. of needles? Well, enough so that yeah, I. Yeah, yeah, well, that's fair enough. But I'm, I guess. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull through. Dude, you're Snake Plissken. You can't be afraid of needles. That's crazy. Snake Plissken didn't like needles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. He liked needles. But he said it quietly like, yeah, I yeah. like needles. <laughs> <laughs> he made you think he yeah. wasn't afraid of anything while he told you he was afraid of needles. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just afraid of one thing. <laughs> hey, uh, you still flying? You flying around a little bit? Uh, you know what? I sold my plane. I had the TBM. I sold yeah, it was a great plane. Year. I was up yeah. in it with you. That's the one that I took you flying. Yeah. I'm really proud of you for what you've been doing. For learning to fly? Yeah. yeah. I'm really proud of you for taking away all my money and pouring it into airplanes. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd be really I thought nice I was doing enough. okay for money. And then I met you. I was like, I have no money left. What are you, uh, yeah, well, what are you flying now? That I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not flying anything right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not what flying. Would you, what, if you were flying, what would you be flying? You know what I want to do? I want to go, I want to go back. I want to go retro. That's what I want to do. I want to go uh, stick and yeah, pedals. Yeah. I, I want to do uh, stick and maybe, uh, yeah, stick and rudder, yeah. not stick and pedals. Well, well, pedals. Stick and pedals. Yeah, stick and pedals, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I fly like that's this. What, that's, that's why it. I have to. Yeah, no, that's it. That's exactly what I want to do, by yeah. the way. I saw, because I got tired of, you know, I, I, I flew one time and took my son and, and a friend and his son to a hockey tournament. We came back and shot an approach into Santa Monica, and it was fairly low, so I came in and landed the airplane, and as we were leaving, a guy he knew stopped by, and he said, hey, he said, you just flew in here with Curry. He said, yeah, he said, how's he fly? He said, like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it was all instrument yeah, flying. That's yeah, because that's what I'm like you. I'm kind of tired. I wanted to go back to this. Like those want to uh, maybe a steerman, Boeing steerman? I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm actually thinking of this thing called a carbon cub. Takes off the ground and three times its body length. Wow. Lands in 100 feet and things like that. So I got that to, sounds like know, a bicycle with an engine on it to me. Like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to the basics. No, no, I want a big, a big rotary <laughs> <laughs> engine. But, wait, but I know you, but I know you moved up the ladder. Well, right? yeah, I've been flying around a little bit, my, yeah. my Cessna. <laughs> yeah, a little Cessna. It's all right. Yeah. You, still, you sold your plane? No, I can't believe you sold your plane. I sold it because I really did. I, the kind of flying that I was doing, I was kind of finished with, and I wanted to get a different kind of an airplane, but I didn't know what. So I said, you know what, I'm going to... Now, wasn't your, your grandfather was one of the pioneers of early... I think his... I, I have his license somewhere. This is a great one. Signed by Orville Wright, or... Yeah, signed by Orville Wright. I think it's, wow. it's number 192. The 192nd pilot's license in the U.S.? Yeah, and, the, and, the, and one of the reasons it's so late is because he hid for two years. He was in the day when... They were doing stunt flying, a lot of stunt flying. He was a stunt pilot. He was a national right. stunt champion for three years. And he, they didn't want to have a license. You know, they didn't want to be held accountable for most of the stuff they were doing. <laughs> I think there's still guys like that flying out of Santa Paula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, Santa yeah, Paula? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get there's yeah. a little look. There's a little practice yeah, airport, a area, and yeah. The, yeah, and you get near there, and you just yeah. you don't hear anybody on radios which you're meant to, or and you just just see guys going. Yeah. Did you, did you old have guys any, with their teeth flying out? Yeah. <laughs> did you uh, did you ever get in any situations where you kind of went, mm, I don't know about this? Yes, I tell you, the first time because 
you kind of mentored me into flying an airplane, right? The first time I did my solo cross-country flight, yeah. I had to fly over to San Gabriel's, Van Nuys, right. over to Bakersfield was the first flight. Porter, Porterville? Right, yeah, uh, Porterville. I went up to Porterville. I told him to send you to Porterville. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going, I was coming back, and I went over the San, and I hit moderate turbulence. Right. Uh, which is... It doesn't, there's nothing moderate about it. I don't know why it's called moderate turbulence. It's not yeah, moderate yeah, turbulence. it's not moderate. It's, it's like, ah! Yeah. And I'm in the airplane on my own. I was flying the airplane on my own. And bef before I started flying, I talked to you. And you said, I said, I want to know what's behind my fear of flying. And I remember you said, behind the fear, Craig, is you. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm in the plane. I'm in moderate turbulence. I'm crapping my pants. <laughs> and then in my head comes you. Good. Behind the fear is you. <laughs> but it's not just but it's not just a dude. It's, it's Kurt Russell's voice. <laughs> so it really is like a movie. Behind the fear is you. I'm like, get out of my head, Kurt Russell! <laughs> I got a lot. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. But, but you landed the plane. After about five times, I got to Van Nuys Airport yeah. and I was bouncing up and down the runway. Yeah, and then and the, the controller to said to me, How right. many uh, landings do you want on the runway? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah, it was great. But you've done great. You've yeah, done really great. I, I, I really am proud of you. There's been you, quite a few people you. that I've had the opportunity to mentor, but we had a conversation. This is how many years ago? Seven. Seven think, years ago. Yeah. And we were, we were doing this, you know, like we're doing now, and we started talking about this, and I, and I realized that he, talking about white knuckling it, and I said, you know, I said, you're, you're the kind of candidate that generally makes a very good pilot, because when people who are afraid of flying start to fly and get over the fear of it, they never lose the respect for flying. No, I, I, gotta have that. It's, I don't really, I don't know if I respect flying or I just respect gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I very much that's respect a, gravity uh, and airspeed. I respect airspeed a great deal more than I used to. It's nice to have it. How did, uh, was it your grandfather got you into it? Is that what happened? Uh, no, uh, I, I've been asked that question many times, never could really answer it. I, what wasn't it, just, wasn't it you were racing speedboats at one point? Yeah, I, I was, but it had not, you know, I mean, I did that, but it didn't have anything to do with the, the idea of Well, flying. they can get airborne if you race them fast enough, yeah, can't they? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They, don't, they don't fly well. Oh, you know, we should talk about the movie. The, the movie looks good. It's, it is good. It's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. <coughs> we have to take a break. We don't need right to talk about <laughs> We're back, we're back. We so we're just talking about your movie, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what happens, is, is that Dylan? You're fighting with Dylan in that movie? Why? Yeah, actually that kind of looks like a serious scene. It's a semi-serious scene. It's actually, a, it's, a, it's a funny movie. Um, Jonathan Sobel, the guy who wrote it, is a very clever guy. It's kind of a, it's a con man slash heist movie. And it, right. it's, there's a couple of movies, a couple of things going on at the same time. It's one of those movies that gets you thinking about one thing when actually another one's taking place. Is there a car chase in it? You know, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since we shot it. <laughs> uh, they probably put one in. There's more stuff in it. Well, let me, let, me, let me put it in a way that maybe it will help you. At any point during the film of the movie, were you doing this? <laughs> Just that. <laughs> Just that. Uh, but it's, it's a, he's, he's a clever writer. The guys in the movie, uh, uh, all of them. I mean, Jay Baruchel, I had a lot of scenes with Jay. Jay, Baruchel. I worked with Jay in a movie. He's really He's funny. lovely. He's French-Canadian. He's though. a funny guy. Very yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And Matt was great. Matt was perfect at what the part called for. He, I thought he just did perfectly. Uh, Catherine Winnick, uh, Kenny is in it. I, I, you know, uh, uh, Chris D, I can never pronounce his last name, really clever and talented. Wait, his name's D and you can't pronounce D? The mop a lop a lop a lop Oh, like, it's I begged a him long, to change his name. I said, Chris, yeah. did you shorten it to the, it's the, the De La Mopolopolis or something. Yeah. I said, change it to Chrissy D or something, you know. I can't, you can't, can't do that. You can't change people's heritage he's, because he's like it's inconvenient. Old, so it's impossible. Come on, yeah, no. man. He's Come a on. very talented guy. Yeah. Um, there's some good people in this movie and I thought it was a great opportunity to to just have a good time, um, and and this Jonathan Sobel, I kind of predict that he will he will do some interesting movies. Yeah. What about you? You watching the Olympics? Uh, yeah. Since I was, I've been laying in bed for two days trying to get well enough to come down here, and I've been <laughs> listening to it in the background. You know, I, like you know what I love. Much. But every chance they get, they keep asking the Russian guys, "Hey, do you guys remember the Miracle on Ice?" <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and the Russians are like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this never happened. This never happened. <laughs> I heard they're going to do a documentary on that. Oh, really? Another which one? is actually, I think, probably a more interesting story than the American. Well, the movie was was pretty good. Though. Well, yeah. those guys, but that 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 team that that Russian team had won seventy two games in a row. Wow! And you, it literally was a trip to Siberia if you lost, and they all did, I guess. Jeez. Well, so, I, you know, rough go. <laughs> yeah. That sport. Well, the way it's sport. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go. Say yeah. good night, guys. Russell, everybody. Go More practice. I only started learning to fly because I was afraid of it. You know, I know. Even in the last five years, I was like, I was. Kurt Russell was on the show, and he said, "You're not afraid to fly. You're just a control freak." And uh, and it turned out he was completely wrong. I am afraid <laughs> to fly. <laughs> Do you know Kurt Russell? Yes. He he was um, he got me flying. He took me on flying lessons. Then when I had about eight hours uh, of flight time, he took me on his uh, his his plane, his uh, TBM 700. Mm -hmm. It's a fast. Um, Little. little zippy plane. And, uh, and we were coming into Santa Maria Airport, it was just me and him, and he said, land the plane. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> he said, land the plane. How are we going to get down if you don't land the plane? So, uh, you know, I kind of sort of landed the plane, and he helped me, but I wanted to cry, but... You <laughs> With happiness or fear? Uh, fear. Uh, <laughs> but you can't cry in front of Kurt Russell. It's I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is Kurt Russell. Yeah, I and mean, he's like, it's Snake Plissken. What are you going to do, cry? Oh, scared! <laughs> I did a film with him where we played superheroes, Sky High. Yes, yeah. that's right, yeah. You had a little outfit in that, as I, I remember. Did. Yeah.